Hi, this is Tim from fitatmidlife.com and today I have a update on the Nike Metcon SF, the first all-terrain Metcon shoe from Nike. I've been out running in the rain, the muck, and the mud, and I have results to share with you, so stick around. All right, so run about two miles, the Metcon SF both uh, without socks and with. As you can see, it's raining. It was not raining when I set out. It only happened about halfway through. Uh, the results without socks, not good. Got a uh, hot spot, rubbed raw on the inside heel, both left and right. So went back home, grabbed socks, got back out here. Uh, overall, the water shedding ability, I would say, is on par with what they claim you know it's not a miracle it's not like it's an oven it's going to dry your shoe out instantaneously but it does get the vast majority of the water out of the out of your shoe quickly so i think it's good in that regard all right let's do a little more running here's where they rubbed me wrong this is the inside of my right leg did exactly the same thing in the left leg too it feels like that's where the heel clip the, he the edge of the heel clip or something on the inside of the shoe. I've got socks on now, so that makes a big difference. Uh, got these tied pretty tight, but again, thinking maybe an 11 might have been a better choice for me. You can see they're a little wet and muddy and uh, some bugs on there, but otherwise they're doing all right. Okay, so let's talk about the Nike Metcon SF. Did a r uh, run rainy day did a mile without socks that uh, ended up with a lot of rub on the inside heel both right and left stopped got a pair of socks ran about a mile and a half did a water immersion mud stream creek type immersion puddles there was heavy heavy downpour earlier as tropical storm going through and uh, overall I would say um, Probably wishing I'd got a size 11. Other than that, they work as advertised. Water drains quickly. There's no absorbent insole or anything to really for water to pool in. The shoe's not a miracle, of course. Your feet still get wet and they're moist. They're not gonna dry out while you're running in these kind of conditions, but the bulk of the water is gone. Ran on pavement, ran on grass, ran in mud, sand. Um, works fine in all those scenarios with the deep tread and all that um did not get clogged in any case although here in florida our uh, mud is mostly sandy so it wouldn't really doesn't usually clog under most circumstances anyways and uh so overall i i think they're good um with a couple caveats sample size one one data point here so i say by they're by true to size but maybe they are maybe they're not I wear an 11 in Reebok, New Balance, Noble, most Nike shoes except the Metcon 5. I wear an 11. Wishing I'd gotten 11 here. These are 11 and a half. And uh, the other caveat is, I, you know, I'm comparing these against CrossFit shoes, training shoes for the most part. So I don't really have other trail running shoes to uh, benchmark these against at this point in time. But hopefully this has been helpful. And uh, let's do a little more running.